Howdy guys, welcome back to my LP of Pokemon Silver. Previously, after beating Claire of the Blackthorn City Gym, I have now acquired all eight of the Johto badges and half of the game's badges total. And with that, I can now access the Pokemon League and take on the Elite Four. But I wasn't done with that episode. I made my way back here to New Bark Town and received the best Pokemon, Pokemon, I meant Pokeball, in the entire game from Professor Elm, and that would be the Master Ball. I then took advantage of a glitch where not only can you duplicate a Pokemon, but you can also duplicate the item that it's holding. So I took advantage of that glitch and made myself three total Master Balls. So in other words, I did the glitch twice. Please forgive me for cheating a little bit because I need to use these Master Balls on three legendary Pokemon that I don't want to spend countless hours chasing them down and trying to catch them with normal Pokeballs, if you know what I mean. And then finally, I caught a Lapras because today, according to the Poke Gear, is Friday. And of course, Lapras appears exclusively on Friday, so I end up catching that as well to end the episode. And, you can't see it on my Pokemon team, but Ash Browns is level 40 as he rests in the PC because I need coffee with me to surf along the waters towards the Pokemon League, which I will be doing in this episode. And also, Grits got up a level 2 at level 39. I meant level 2 as in T-O-O, -O, not T-W-O. Okay, so that's what I'll be doing in this episode. Making my way to the Pokemon League. Let's do this coffee. And here we go! No encounters. I just said that! Go, go. Oh, where, where are you going? Jeez, drunk driving here. Alright, so back where we were, where we picked up the rare candy in the, uh, the Moonstone. I'm not sure if there's like a hidden item over here or something. No, I can headbutt this tree if I want to, but I'm not going to. Okay, let's head back into Tojo Falls, because now, with all eight badges, I can use the Waterfall uh, HM, or the move that is. There! And then we just ride this down. We don't have to use Waterfall to ride it down, just, just to ride it up. Move quickly! That is an optional trainer. If you don't take your steps forward quickly, she will contact you and send you into a Pokemon battle. Now this woman, where are you off to with Pokemon? Pokemon League? Are your Pokemon loyal enough for you to win? Let me see. Ah, your Pokemon trusts you very much. It's nice to see a good trainer. Here, a gift for your journey. She gives you TM number 37, which contains Sandstorm. It is sort of like a weather kind of move like Sunny Day as it lasts a few turns, but all it does is inflict little bits of damage to Pokemon that are not Rock, Ground, or Steel type. Happens to be Standstorm, it's a move that inflicts damage on both battlers. It's for advanced trainers only. Use it if, it, if you dare. Good luck. She will only give this to you, as, as she said, if your Pokemon is loyal enough. If you want the easiest way to get this TM, just put your starter on top. And it's pretty much an easy way to get it. Because your starter has been with you the longest. Okay, go now. I'm going to try to avoid as many trainers as I can, but I know that there's a few which are required, so I'll try my best. I think he's required. There's no way around him. I'll try going up here. Oh, jeez. Will he encounter me right here? Yep, I knew it. You're required. Let's do it. You look pretty strong. Let me battle you. My Typhlosion, or Toast, is halfway to level 39, so this might actually do the trick to get him there. Your name is Blake Shelton! Okay, here we go. Oh, perfect! It's too bad I don't have Dig anymore, but I think Fire Punch will do just the trick on this thing. Kapow! And I feel bad for the Magna... For the... Yeah, the Magnemite on the bottom of the Magneton that took the Fire Punch. As you saw how it connected there. Look at that, I'm almost to level up already. Quagsire. No, I gotta switch out. Let's see. Oh, perfect. Honey, you can do it. 
Quagsire is a water ground type, making it, I think it only gets one weakness, which is grass, and it's quad weakness to it. Which means absorb should be a piece of cake. Let's go, honey. Oh, almost. <laughs> Amnesia. Too late now, Quagsire. You dumb phony. You pea brain. Instant finish. Just like that. Let's see what else this trainer has. Execute. Grass Psychic type. A really good Pokemon from red, blue, and yellow because special attack and special defense are combined into one in both, uh, not both, executes, uh, I think it's defense and special defense are really high, so it's a good tank and can do heavy special damage. Now, who am I going to use against this execute? Yup. Let's do it. <laughs> Look at that egg on the bottom, the bottom left. He has a beard. Wing attack, let's try that. I love using Execute and Exeggutor from Red, Blue, and Yellow. It's a powerhouse. Just teach it Mega Drain and Psychic, and you're pretty much good to go. There, I beat Blake Shelton. Yow! Okay, so Toast, you're about to level up. So let me put you up for a second. Let me put Pancake on top for a bit. Maybe you might do something. Let's get on my bike, too. If I can. Oh, I think there's a trainer coming up. Oh, I'm hoping the right spot. Uh. Yes, I am. Okay. Oh, crap! I was just one spot away from leaving the tall grass, too. I'm going to play it safe and go in the water here because there's one other trainer on the dock. Yes! I knew it! I made the right move. Also, I need to go down there and pick up that item. Is there anything up here? Let me take a look. No. Okay. Isn't that trainer right down there? Yep, I can pass her. Okay, let me go get that item. I think I know what it is. It might be a rare candy. Good thing I have coffee with me. Let's get rid of that cinnamon-shaped whirlpool, or looks like the top of a cinnamon roll. Perfect. Nope, I was wrong. TM number 22, which should be... Solar Beam. Yep. I think Honey can learn it, but who else can? That's just Honey, okay. Solar Beam, I know, is a whole lot more powerful than Absorb. And it would be nice to have it on Honey, especially if I can use it in conjunction with Tosa's Sunny Day. But... I'm going to be very gutsy here and just keep Absorb, because maybe I might use it to get a little bit of HP, so I'm going to keep Absorb for now. So again, I'm going to take my wrists and keep it. Okay, let's get out of this island and head back towards the dock. At least I have to use Whirlpool again on that spot. No, oh yeah, I gotta surf around this woman. Or this trainer. Almost there. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's any trainers right here. There's probably one right up here somewhere. There you are. A fisherman. I'll just surf right by him. That's more like it. I think... Yes, this trainer is required, unfortunately. No matter how far I walk over here, he'll still contact me. Wow, look at all those badges. I'm impressed. But you're not satisfied by just collecting them, right? What do you mean? Are you saying that you want to buy my badges from me? Or, no wait, you want to steal them from me? I don't think so. Look who it is. It's Richard Scary. Go back to making more of your little children's tales with... What's that little worm's name that drives the red apple? I can't remember his name. Again, just do that and such. Anyways, proceeding with this fight. Maybe. Another Thunder Punch. Stop using Quick Attack! You... Nincompoop. Please knock it out. Yes, good job, Pancake. There. So, Richard Scary, uh... No, I better not say anything more about that. Let's just keep it as it is. 
Good battle. I can't think of any other Richards. Uh, Pancake, how much experience do you have? Oh, you still got a ways to go, so I'll keep you on top. Okay. Up here should be a house where there'll be a person that can heal your crew for you, right here. Your Pokemon look a little tired. You should rest them a while. There. Hey! Jeez! I just said that, like, a second ago. Your Pokemon are looking good. Keep at it. Okay, that is optional, but I want to take a little detour and go through here. Oh, that's a long patch of grass. How did I not encounter any Pokemon? Holy crap. Now, this little journal here. There's something written here. Read it. Well, you're not supposed to pry on someone else's- your eyes on someone else's journal, but hey, no one's here. Who's, like, spying on me reading this book? Anyways, to my brothers and sisters. We take pride in serving Pokemon trainers. When trainers talk to you, give them something useful. Love, Monica. Keep reading? Yes. Monday, Monica, Route 40. Do you get where this is going? Here's a dead giveaway to the next one. Tuesday, Tuscany, Route 29. Sound familiar? Yep, she's the one that gave me the pink bow. So, this journal lists the seven trainers that appear on certain days of the week, and they'll give you a certain item. Then it was Wednesday over the Lake of Rage, like I thought, the one that stands next to that house that gives you the hidden power TM. Arthur's a really easy spot. He's where... he's east of Sudowoodo, but he gives you a pretty poor item. It's Hearthstone, and it powers up Rock-type moves, but there's not many Rock-type moves in this game. Other than Rollout. Friday, Free, uh, Frida, she is behind the Pokemon Center on Route 32, the, next to the guy that gives you, or tries to sell you the Slowpoke Tail for 1 million Poké Dollars. And Santos is in Blackthorn City, he's like in a little, like, cove area. And of course, Sunny, Route 70, 37 on Sunday, she's, she's just below Ecrotic, uh City. Now, I can't remember what, what items they give you other than, um... What's her name? I don't want to go down there. It leads me back to the other trainers. So I'll go back around here. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Come on, game! Go, 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 go! Jeez, I'm crow! Okay, like I was saying. Tuscany gives you the pink bow. Arthur gives you the hard stone. Um, Frida, I think she gives you a poison barb. What about the other four? Sunny gives you a magnet. Ah. Uh. I think Wesley over in Lake of Rage gives you something that powers up fighting type moves, so some type of like expert belt or something, or a, a uh, fighting belt or something like that. What's the other two? Monica and Santos. I think Monica gives you the sharp beak, which powers up flying type moves, but I can't remember what Santos gives you. Oh well, at least I got most of them out of the way. Ah, oh, great. Are you serious? I'm gonna do this twice. <laughs> Actually, I actually just flashed south just for a quick second. I'm gonna have to close my eyes on this one. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, there's one. I got one more to go. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yes! <laughs> Take that, stupid trainer. You can't get me. But this trainer is required. Now, this is what I don't get about this body of water. I know it's connected to the ocean. But it doesn't lead anywhere! That is complete crap. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna have to fight this guy. I knew it! Ah, how do I remember that? By experience in tough battles, you gain power. Um, duh, I think I've been doing that the whole Let's Play, dude. You're Gavin. Hmm. Nope, can't make fun of that name. Victory Bell, huh? I got the move just for you. And I'll slam it right into your mouth with a fire punch. How's that feel? Taste the burn. Oh, cool. No crit in its pants necessary. That's how good Pancake special attack is. Flareon. Uh... Sure, why not? 
I want to check out Pancake's uh, stats. I almost said stacks. It would make more lot of sense because Pancake stacks. Yeah, 102 special attack. Okay, let's give it a Thunder Punch. Electrocute this thing. Okay, half. That should do absolutely nothing. Oh, dang it! Don't grip my pants! Ah, pea brain. There, take that. That should be a level up! Oh, very close. I'm in the, probably the one digit or two digit, 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 two digits somewhere. Jeez, I can't even finish my sentences. So for Kingler, uh, let's give Honey a shot. I don't think Kingler has very good moves. What does he have, like Vice Grip and Crab Hammer? I don't think they'll do anything on Honey. Okay, let's sprinkle some salt and pepper on this, and don't miss, okay? Because last time you missed twice in a row. Now you stay asleep, you crab. I will cook you. Alright, how much will this do? Okay, good. Now stay asleep. Okay, good. Alright. You got lucky, honey. Finish it off. I'm not... I don't think this is going to be a level up, though. It'll be close. Yep, like I thought. Take that, Gavin. Gah! Life is even tougher. So, how much experience does Pancake need? Two? Two? Are you kidding me? Just two? Ugh. Okay, so let's see. Honey, you need just 799. How about you, Grape Juice? 2,500. Hmm, okay. Let's put Grape Juice on top for a second. Let's take, take a look at Grits. You just leveled up right, bef uh, right before this episode, so I might use you. Yeah, let's use Grape Juice for a second, and I'll think of using Grits. Okay, this one's required, yet he doesn't want to battle you right here, but if you take one more step right here, then he'll want to fight you. I'm making my final preparations for the Pokemon League. I think after him, there's one more trainer right in front of the gate. You are Jake. Jake the Snake Roberts. You have... <laughs> One of the worst Pokemon in history. A bug grass type parasect, quad weak to flying type moves. Like this one! Kapow! And not to mention that Parasect is very slow. He's actually quad weakness to fire type moves as well, but anyways, his slow speed just makes him like an easy target to take down. I mean, he has pretty good moves, including the very rare spore, which is a Move that puts an opponent to sleep 100% of the time. But again, it's not really worth it since it's slow and it's quad weak to fly in and fight uh, fire moves. So, again, the Paris and Parasect family are just terrible. I'm not, be I'm not too sure if I'll be able to take down this Golduck with a fly move. Very unlikely. Okay, half damage. Hmm. Come on. Don't hit five times in a row. Okay, good. Let's see. I'll go for another fly. Now, don't miss grape juice. Okay, good. Because fly does have 95 accuracy. Okay, nice. Oh, almost a level up too. And that is game. I blew You blew it! <laughs> okay. Now... Pretty much, my party members, all at level 38, are just very close to getting to level 39. Yup. Especially you, Pancake. So, let me do this first. I'm gonna come up around here, and get this item. There's the train that I mentioned right in front of the gate. So let's get this item first, it should be a max elixir. I wish it would be a max revive, that would have been just awesome. I'm gonna go back out into the wild, down here somewhere. Uh, I'll start with grape juice. Hey, you know what? Let me go inside this pond over here. 
and I'm gonna get my team, all four of those members, to level 39. There you go, Grape Juice. You're all set for now. Will you learn a new move, though? I'm not too sure. No. Will this do it? Yep. Hot Buttered Toast. I don't think you'll learn any moves right now, but I know the next move that you'll learn will be Swift. You get a whopping 405 experience points, and you only needed just two. Well, there you go anyways. You're gonna learn Light Screen very shortly. There you go, my sweet little honey. Now we can press on towards the Pokemon League. Let's get back on my bike and head back to the gate. I think this trainer says something about my rival too. Now who should face her? Because I know she has a Rapidash on her team. I wish I could use Grape Juice, but he's taking almost half the damage already. I guess we'll fight fire for fire. Let's put Grits on top. I'm not sure if she'll have any more Pokemon, but I know she has a Rapidash on her team. Now, she says something about my rival. <laughs> I lost to a trainer named Poop. <laughs> he was really strong, but it was as if he absolutely had to win at any cost. I felt sorry for his Pokemon. Well, I'll say this for sure. The other trainer near Lake of Rage used my rival's name to better result. Your name is Beth. I can't think of anything to do with Beth, and that's all she has is a Rapidash. Okay. Whoops. Wrong Pokemon. I wanted to use Toast. Oh well. I'll stick with Gretz then. Oh crap, why don't you go first? I want to flinch you. Oh, shoot. Alright, guess I have to resort to Feint Attack. Don't hit five times. Hit <laughs> two. Don't quit my pants. Dang it. Come on, Feint Attack. Okay, one more. Just, uh, you missed. That's why I hate Fury Attack, too. Not only it sucks in power, but it has pretty bad accuracy at 85. It does miss quite often. Alright. Pokemon aren't tools of war. Do you have anything to say about my rival? Pokemon are invaluable, lifelong partners. Wow, oh, she wants to give me her number, which I'm not going to do. Nope. No, thank you. We made it! Yes! Route 26, Pokemon League Reception Gate. Let's do it! Only trainers who have proven themselves may pass. Oh, the eight badges of Johto. Please, go right ahead, sir. Now, unfortunately, you can't go left and right. This way leads to Mount Silver. You'll see scary strong Pokemon out there. Mount Silver is the final area of the game. That got, but that got me thinking. If that's Mount Silver, then where's Mount Gold? Shouldn't Mount Mortar be called Mount Gold? Because you have gold and silver for, of the Pokemon games, that is. So it's not really fair for Gold version's part to not have a mountain named after that. And this leads off to the Pokemon League, are you? The Elite Four are so strong, it's scary, and they're ready for you. Well, he didn't mention what's down through here, but it'd take you right into Kanto and towards Viridian City. Okay. I need to put someone on top. And I'm feeling gutsy. I'm putting Grape Juice on top. You'll see soon enough when I get near the end of Victory Road. I don't think I need to use any healing items right now. No. I think I'm good. Not to strum my own banjo and to blow my own kazooie. But I think I'll do pretty good through Victory Road. Well, that is, I'm going to use Super Repel anyways. <laughs> so there you go. This Victory Road is pretty much the shortest in the game. It is a replica, a near replica that, that is, of the original Victory Road of red, blue, and yellow. Except there's no trainers. Or is there? There's a full heal, that's convenient. How about over here? Nope, dead end. Uh, nothing up there. Over here there's gonna be something though. Aha, there's two items. Another full heal! Very good. Thank you very much. 
Nothing there. Nope, no hidden items. How about you? A Max Revive. Cool. Again, Max Revives are kind of rare. You cannot buy them in stores, so save up save up as much as, as you can. Otherwise, you're better off... I mean, if you use up all your Max Revives, then you're going to have to deal with the original revives you can buy in the Pokemon Marts. There is one particular item that I want to pick up here. It won't be until I get near the end of Victory Road. X Special? Are you serious? This far in the game, they give me an extra, a, an X Special. That's lame. Okay, I need to go. Let's head. Let's head this way. Uh oh! No! 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 Not Ray Candy. Super Repel. This might lead somewhere. It's gonna be, lead me to that item, I think. Yep, it did. I'm gonna guess and say it is a... Full Restore! Aha! Good guess, Marcus. Alright, carrying on. Now go this way. That way leads right up to the Pokemon League. But we can't go there yet because there's that one item I want to get. It should be right over here. There it is. I'm gonna check this rock first, though. Max Potion! That's convenient. Ah, Hash Browns, it's about time, because I am about to teach you this move. TM number 26 contains Earthquake, the best ground-type move ever. 100 power, 100 accuracy, and you get 10 of them. It doesn't hurt Flying-type Pokemon, but pretty much all ground-type moves don't hurt Flying Pokemon anyway. So again, Earthquake, probably one of the greatest ground-type moves in the game ever. The thing is, I can't teach it to Hash Browns quite yet. It's because not only he's not with me, but he has strength. So as soon as I get through this, I'll go back to Blackthorn City and get rid of strength from the move deleter, and then I'll teach him Earthquake. And this is why I need to put Grape Juice on top, because, jeez, I'm crow. <laughs> Once again, I smell poop. It's gotta be my rival. Yup, I knew it. Ready, Grape Juice? Here we go. Hold it. Are you going to take the Pokemon League Challenge? Don't make me laugh. You're so much weaker than I am. I'm not like I was before. I now have the best and strongest Pokemon with me. I'm invincible. Marcus, I challenge you. It's time to... Duel! Whoops. Wrong franchise. It's not Yu-Gi-Oh. Alright, he has six members on his team. Uh-oh. Ooh, I chose poorly. Oh, that's right. I don't have hash browns with me. That would have done the job easily. Oh, shoot. Ah, uh, okay. Dark and ice type, right? I hope this Sneasel does not have any ice type moves on it. I'm gonna go with wing attack. Let's see what that does. Come on, baby. Okay, a little bit half. And I flinched it. Thank you very much, King's Rock. Thanks for the hand. And done. One down, five to go. Please use Haunter. Oh, oh god, no, 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 not Magneton. Uh, I need some help. Toast. Alright. This should be pretty easy. Do it, Toast. Burn that thing. Dig would have been very nice, like I always been saying over and over. Never mind. Fire Punch did his job. Okay, what's next? Probably for Alligator. Yep, his starter. Um, I'm not gonna go with my starter this time. Because I think for Alligator is a little bit too overpowerful. Yeah, he's level 38. I'm gonna get creamed if I use Toast, so... Pancake! Do your job. You know what to do. Right in the stomach. Oh, almost. Hey, I just saw something too. Did I go first because of Quick Claw? I might have. Finish it. Have some stars. Now you're seeing stars. Halfway. Who's next? There's that Haunter. 
Oh, grape juice. I need your help. I know just what to do. I've been doing it the last two rival battles, too. Just bite its head off. If I don't knock it out here, at least I'll try to flinch it. Flinch! No! Oh, he used curse. It knocked itself out. You dumb phony. If I can just knock out completely the next two Pokemon, then Grape Juice will, should have no problem. Yeah, this cadaver is easy. I need a good old wing attack. It's kind of wise to use Bite, but Kadabra has very high special defense. Well, its special attack is higher than its special defense. But certainly its special defense is incredibly higher than its defense, or rather the opposite. Its defense is extremely low, so Wing Attack is the better option there. Golbat. I'm going for it, even though I'm cursed. Let's do it, Great Juice! Wing Attack. Please do over half. Over half? Oh no! No, 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 no! Crap, crap! Shoot! Oh no! Hang in there, Grape Juice! Ooh. Oh! Oh! I'm gonna... I'm gonna switch out. Let's see. Pancake! Finish it! Use your Thunder Punch when you get the chance. It's gonna use Wing Attack. <laughs> it's gonna do nothing. Yeah, the 12th damage. Woo. Don't flinch me. Don't flinch me. Okay, good. Finish that thing. Yes. My rival still stinks. That's why his name is Poop. <laughs> there, how's that feel? I couldn't win. I gave it everything I had. What do you, what you possess and what I lack. I'm beginning to understand what that Dragon Master said to me. I haven't given up on becoming the greatest trainer. I'm going to find out why I can't win and become stronger. When I do, I will challenge you. And I'll beat you down with all my power. <laughs> you keep at it until then. And with that... The Pokemon League. First things first, let's heal up. I think there's going to be a couple of Pokemon on my team that are very close to leveling up. There's also a couple of items that I do want to sell. Oh yeah, I don't think I mentioned this at the start of this episode, but I sold the Dragon Breath TM because I don't think I really need it. Oops. I'm sorry, sir. Did I cut in front of you? Oh, too bad. You're not doing anything about it anyways. Okay, items to sell. Solar, be uh, solar beam. Again, I'm not going to teach it to honey. I'm going to stick with absorb for a little bit longer. And sandstorm, I don't think we need that either. Okay, how about anything in here? These two. Yep, get rid of these. Okay, do I need the... Whoops, no, sell it. Okay, do I need to buy anything else? I have seven full heals, five revives, two max revives. I think I'm good with what I have. Not to strum my own banjo and to blow my own kazooie, that is. Let's see what you have anyways. Yep, you got all good stuff. Fitting for the Pokemon League. Okay, so this way leads to the Pokemon League. Once you enter those stairs, there's no turning back. You either have to fight and beat the entire Elite Four and Champion, or until you lose. That's the only two ways that you can get through here, because again, you cannot step backwards. So prepare yourself. But you knew that already. However, in the next episode, I will not be taking on the Elite Four. Rather, let's, get, let's do this first and speak to this old man. Ah. You're challenging the Elite Four? Are you sure you're ready? If you need to train some more, my Abra can help you. It can teleport uh, teleport you home. Would you like to go home now? Yes. Okay, okay. Picture your house in your mind. And we're back home. So, if I ever want to go back to the Pokemon League, I just need to surf like two or three steps over here. 
and just fly right there, because now I can access the place with fly. Let me check on the stats of my team. Crobat, you need to level up. Pancake, yeah, almost. T Toast, nope, not quite yet. Umbreon, nope. And Honey, nope. So, yeah, let me think about this. Okay, I decided what I want to do. I'm going to call the episode good right here. And like I said, I will not be fighting the <laughs> right time in there for the repel to wear off. But anyways... I will not be taking on the Elite Four in the next episode. I'm gonna wait just a little bit longer, and rather, I'll be taking a couple of detours. So, before I start the next episode, I'm gonna get my team up, let's see. I'm just gonna get Grape Juice and Pancake up one level for now, and just before I get ready to take on the Elite Four, I'll have them up a few levels so I can prepare myself a little bit better, but it won't be until just a little while longer. So just Grape Juice and, who's the other one again? Pancake will get a level up before the start of next episode. And next time on my LP of Pokemon Silver, I'm going hunting. You shall see soon enough. Okay, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time. And like always, take care.